In this video, I will be providing you with a few examples how water can accumulate around your house or any other structures, um, even your patios, um, sidewalks and driveways. Now, realistically, you are going to have one of two problems that causes this soil erosion or soil settlement. And that soil settlement would be any soil sinking into the ground. Erosion is when water comes along or wind, something that moves the soil to a different part of the property. And uh, um, that's it. You can stop watching the video right here. You know, if you have water around here, you need to figure out how to drain it, um, get it to drain away from the house to another part of your property. I would suggest keeping water puddles at least five feet away from your house. But, uh, you know, you can always install site drainage systems um, if water is a problem. This would be basically a kind of like a plumbing drain system where you're going to install pipes underneath the ground and uh, um, have them pop up in certain spots so that when the water does accumulate, it's simply going to go into the um, drains and um, drain safely away from the property. Now, another problem you could have um, would be if the site is flat instead of sloping. So here we can see where the property is sloping away from the house. And this is, this is common. And most of the homes I lived in, the back of the property drained toward the front where the where it could drain into the street or into the gutter drainage system and down to the wherever it goes, but it's not on your property. So this right here is uh, really common, but not going to be, um, you're not going to have this situation all the time. Here is another situation you could have where the soil slopes away from the property all the way around the building. You know, maybe you live on the top of a hill. Something like this um, could be what you're dealing with and not having any problems, I would imagine. You know, if you do have a problem and you have um, a pretty steep grade, again, this is just going to be from soil settlement or erosion. You have a little spot on your property. It's just going to need to be filled in. If it, you know, you got a, a puddle that forms, out there on a regular basis, you might need to just raise that area a little bit um, so that the water can um, uh, drain away from the property instead of getting trapped there. And of course, the opposite would be it draining towards the house, the soil sloping in all directions towards the house, and uh, you would end up with something like this if you didn't have any site drains. This is not going to be a common situation. And the reason for that is most local um, building officials, building departments, planning department officials, they know better. They're not going to, you know, they're going to have the builder raise the property, um, whatever they need to create some type of a, a slope. Now, here's a situation that would be a little more common. You might have the water draining to towards the building on one or two sides and then draining away from it safely. So you're going to have, now I have this being level, um, but uh, in reality, if you had a situation like this, it would be sloping up here. So the water would come down and then come down here and then away from the property. If this was level and the water um, came down, it could accumulate around the house and of course that wouldn't be good for your home i mean one thing about these um, sinkholes or you have a little hole um, you look you know and water accumulates and you have a spot that's maybe three foot wide one year and then next year it's uh, about four or five feet wide that's because the soil is displacing it's uh, moving somewhere else and so the the more the longer that that water sits in those areas um, the greater your chances of that hole getting larger. And if that area is around your building foundation, it could uh, cause it to sink. Now, another problem we need to address would be instead of the soil sinking, it is actually moving and accumulating and creating some type of a dam, something to 
block the water, prevent it from flowing off of the property. Now you might not get a perfect triangle pool here like I got uh, in this example, but uh, if you do, you know, you live in a house, you've lived in it for 10 or 15 years, and you notice that there are problems like these, then it could very well be something I've addressed in this video because the water is uh, creating the soil. It's either moving the soil or it is causing the soil to sink. If it moves it to an area and it uh, blocks it up, you know, you have debris, you have leaves, you have uh, soil, sticks, you know, just like a little beaver dam, you know, this um, accumulates over time. And uh, it might even be under a deck. You know, you might have a spot on your property that's forcing water away from another spot or forcing it to be trapped in another spot. And again, like I said, I can't stress this enough. This is not good for a building foundation. Now let's take a look at our pretend trees here, but uh, not our root system. Those of you who are familiar with tree roots, you know that they usually push the soil up. And if they push the soil up around your property, especially in the areas where the water is going to be draining, then you are going to have a problem. So it's not uncommon to have a tree or some type of a large plant um, push the soil up with its roots. And then if this happens, you're going to have water um, uh, kind of like damming up around here. And I'm not saying it can't go around it, but, uh, you know, after a few years, if you don't uh, create some type of a relief area for the water, um, you're going to have a problem. So, and I'm just kind of trying to throw everything out there because these, uh, anything that can change the level of the soil um, could be a problem. And of course, that would include any concrete driveways, patios, or sidewalks. So if you have something like this, and you've poured it and you got a nice spot, you're enjoying it, but you're starting to notice that there's water accumulating um, around areas where you have blocked it off, you've prevented it from draining off of the property, then you're probably not going to be happy. So that is it for the video. Again, site drainage, um, water accumulating around your house. It's usually not going to be that difficult to figure out why but it might be a little more difficult to figure out how to fix it um, depending upon the situation.